Welcome back YouTube. I'm going to show you guys how you can get a Tethern app so you can use your phone's internet on your computer for when you're out and about or don't want to use a hotel's computer. You do not have to have root access to your phone. Just a regular app. Normally in the market you have to pay for it. I believe it's 10 or $20. But I'm going to show you how to get it for free. Uh, first off, I'll show you how to do it on your phone. You want to go to bestandroiddownloads.com You can see it right over here on the uh, emulator or the screen screenshot of it. You want to go there and I'm not going to do it off my phone. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. You log in using your Facebook login right there and ignore all these ads on the side. The app you want is right over here. It says log in with your Facebook. Once you log in with your Facebook this will turn green and it will say download. That's how you do it off of your phone. I am not going to do it off of my phone though. I'm going to show you guys how to do it off of your computer using your Gmail. So the first thing you want to do, same website. I'll show you what I mean when you scroll down. Right here it says download. You'll download it. I've already downloaded mine over here. I already got it on my computer. So what you want to do is take that and email it to yourself, which I've done. So I'll just show you how to do it real quick. Go to Gmail. Let yourself log in real quick. And compose your mail. I'll do mine to my phone's email attach document and easy teller pro you have to rename it you don't have to but I rename it easy teller pro and then you'll just hit send and it'll go to your phone and the next thing you want to do I already have it on my phone so that was pointless to email it go to your uh, gmail app and I like the app when you try to uh, send yourself apk files you just go ahead and click on the app and it'll say install. That's all you have to do. Make sure you come back. This is the one I just sent myself. It would be this one right here. Click on that. And then click install. Okay, yeah, so you just click install and it'll fetch the attachment. Normal stuff. Just go ahead and hit install and give it a second to install. Now it's installed on your 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 phone now, so just go ahead and hit open. You're gonna have to do a little bit more work on your computer yet. So pick which operating system you have on your computer. I'm gonna do Windows 7 because that's what I have. Go ahead and click on that. And once you get to here, it'll tell you how you can download it off of off of your phone if you want to. I'm gonna show you how to do it off your computer a lot faster, and because I have this up, I can't do it like that. So I'm gonna go I'm going to go ahead and say I already have it installed and then click next and we will come back up to this because I already have it installed next thing you want to do is go to this link I'll also post it below this is the website you'll have to go to and depending on what operating system you have I have 64 byte so when you go ahead and download that it'll come up right here and when you click on that mine obviously isn't going to work because I have it just hit run and follow the on-screen instructions. I already have it on my computer so I don't have to do any of that. Real easy, common sense, you don't have to do anything, just keep pretty much hitting next and that'll be the end of that. Then once you get it on your phone, and I'll show you just like it shows it right here and I'm just gonna hit finish because you don't need to read that, I'll end up showing you how to do it. What you need to do though in order for this to work is you need to go down to your menu and go find your settings settings and then you need to go to applications and you have to do this for this to work it will not work if you do not do this go to development click on that and go to USB debug and that needs to be checked in order for this to work so we'll go back to the main menu uh, as you can see mine's already on here easy tether just go ahead USB easy tether this will pop up on your next menu Go ahead and hit that, and then on your computer, you're going to pop up your little menu over here, and you'll see your little easy tether icon right here. You just right click, connect via Android, hit that, and it'll connect you through the internet. Don't worry about that. And mine's, I don't need mine connected because mine's already have Wi Fi connection, but that's how you get it connected, just using this little icon right here. It works fine, it's not the fastest internet. If you're in a 4G area, obviously it'll be a lot faster. I'm in a 3G network, so mine's not as good. Uh, I'll post those links below for everything you need to get to. 
If you have any questions, you can go ahead and message me or leave me a comment. I'll respond as soon as I can. And if you could, just give me a thumbs up on the video. Maybe leave a comment. And I do not take any questions on rooting. This does not require root access. I don't root phones. If you have any other Android questions that don't pertain to this video, check out my other videos. And if you still can't find it, go ahead and send me a message. And I will try to answer it for you and make a, a video for you to learn by watching. And uh, thank you for watching. Again, thumbs up, comment. Thank you.